So, with Nino Cooney and Tails Zillia turning out to be as awesome as if you got Bill Cosby to read all of Morgan Freeman's lines from Shawshank Redemption, and with Time and Eternity existing and being about as awesome, and by awesome I mean horrible, as if you got Fran Drescher to read anything... It's been a good year for JRPGs. You know, so awesome that I wanted to keep the ball rolling with Final Fantasy XIV. Only there's one problem. MMOs with subscriptions. $40 cover charge, but that just gets you in the door. After that, it's $10 a month. $10 every 30 days. Which, if you're good at math, you'll realize it's more than a Netflix account that could let me watch all of Star Trek Voyager and my wife to watch all of Say Yes to the Dress and my kids to watch all of Dora the Explorer and some weird Australian show about mermaids because why not? It's Netflix. It's only $8 a month. That's what you're competing with when you start talking about a monthly subscription. Something that is cheaper and yet can make my entire family happy. Elder Scrolls Online also announced last week it was embracing the same model, except with a $15 a month charge. $15! Seriously, PlayStation Plus is only a third of that a month, and it lets you play many, many games rather than just giving you permission to play a game you have already bought once. This might seem weird given that last week I was harping all over a game for being free to play, and this week I'm harping all over a game for not being free to play, but number one, I'm fickle and mysterious, and that along with the shimmer of my scalp is what makes me such a sexy bald hobbit. And number two, I don't even think free to play is the answer here. See, for whatever you want to say about the weird MMO TV show experiment defiance, I thought it did pricing really well. Here's the game, it's $60 $60, go nuts. Sure, it dropped in price faster than a gas station burrito during a power outage, and that got some of the early adopters angry and bitchy because they felt like they were duped because their buddies were now buying the game for $10. But I don't really get that complaint. That's how gaming works. That's how it's always worked. You pay a premium to be part of the conversation on day one. Which is yet another reason why this model doesn't make any sense, especially as more and more MMOs are being released as disc-based console titles. Every other game is tacking on multiplayer, DLC with season passes, anything they can do to try to stop you from trading in your game to GameStop. Final Fantasy and Elder Scrolls almost encouraged me to take it back, because if I don't after the first month, it's just going to start costing me money. I won't be playing Final Fantasy XIV, and I probably won't be playing Elder Scrolls Online. I'm sad I won't be writing chocobos or hearing classic victory music, but frankly, if nothing else, I'm happy that this particular Final Fantasy game disappointed me before I bought it and realized it was utter shit. Na, 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 na.